clear. Go. Welcome to the gameplay demo walkthrough of CD Projekt Red's upcoming title, Cyberpunk 2077. A narrative-driven, open-world RPG set in a dark version of the future. Before we start, a small but important disclaimer. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. Roger that. In Cyberpunk 2077, you can fully customize your character using a deep customization system. Yeah. For this demo, we're going to play a female. Keep in mind that what you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the released game. Peaser and this Slim, is an welcome. RPG, so before we get into our appearance, we need to define our backstory. What you choose here will unlock different possibilities later in the game. Also, you can use an array of different options to modify how you look. These include body type, hairstyle, tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. But visuals aren't everything. You'll also be able to customize your initial attribute setup. You'll notice we didn't pick a class. Cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system, and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game. This demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named Tiba, are hired to find and retrieve a missing person, a girl whose locator implant went dark. Almost clear. Go! Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person role-playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. Should have full access in 2.8 seconds. That's a big decision. Your turn. What I live. Going first person the whole time? Alarms neutralized. Is that her? Is that our target, V? Room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Okay, things are about to get heated. We'll take a reflex booster that temporarily allows us to use the Kereznikov ability. This is Kereznikov. Shoot, the, shoot right through the left of it, I was going to say. Tub uh, iced out Ronis. wasn't able to come alive. Got our target. We make it, she alive. This does not look good. This does not look good. No in a minute. Jacking into Biomon. Downloading information. NC fifty seven oh four forty two. Got a winner. Well, she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. 
Trauma Team Platinum, too. Platinum? Shit, TT should have swooped in if she sneezed. Something's jamming the Biomon signal. Talk to me, T-Bug. Virus, probably. Locate our neurosocket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. If we clear it, free up the signal, TT could actually drop in, take her off our hands. I want to see the outside world. Removing it now. Like, I want to see them go out. Done. I'm gonna check the again. I want to see the scale. So far, I'm seeing linear gameplay. I know it's an open world thing, but I, I, I just want to know the ex like what that open world means to this developer group. You know what I mean? Yeah, that she's flatlining. V need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Can't China. <sighs> she's stable. Oh, buena, Haina. Get her outside. Buena, Haina. It turns out a virus disrupted the girl's locator implant. We fixed that, and now help is inbound. Swarm of the sons of bitches. Okay, so that's all you had to say. Fuera, get her out, terrorist. Next objective, leave All the clear. building that and was rejoin with Jack. A kind of high end now premium proceed medical insurance. Now, to the elevator. We've delivered the target, and Tiba has notified us that the scavengers have called in reinforcements. Let's get out of here before they arrive. I got the eddies for new wheels now. I had something real fine, too. How about you, Aina? Probably blow it all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. Deeper in than a cunt out of combat. J Swag, dude, thank you for the fight off. Doc, just realize that when you clean a vacuum cleaner, you become a vacuum cleaner. Gooby Dooby, Deemer, Slayer, Ricochet, welcome. 21 months and 17 months. The hell? Cyberpunk is a mature, visceral experience, and as such, it will let you explore a variety of different interactions with the game world. And as you just saw, it's people. Hello, Night City. Your man standing here with us, cheating on all last night's biz. But first, remember the man, the myth, Johnny Silverhand. Been a year since he went on his last ride. All you gunks sitting in the afterlife, nursing that scotch, waiting for something better. You know what I mean. The job was a success, and V obviously has some money to burn. Hey, sup, V? Look, I need to talk to you. That noise is as big as my balls. And I got a hot date with my Ripper Doc. Come on, I now make the Doc wait. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance and bring your iron. Okay, Jackie has just told us that he has some big news for us. And we have an appointment with our Ripper Doc today. Before we leave, let's take a good look around our apartment. Good morning, Night City. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. It's part of our creative process to draw inspiration from the pen and paper system created by Mike Pondsmith. And to put our own 2077 spin on it. Let's go grab our gear. Okay, we'll take these trusty pistol. I wonder how this game feels. And also Movement. grab our jacket. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, 
The jacket not only provides us with protective stats like armor, but it also increases our street cred. Street cred is a form of experience the player acquires by completing side missions. It is used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. All right, let's go meet Jack. V's current apartment is located inside a mega building, a huge building complex that forms a micro society of its own. In this timeline, technology in the world have evolved in some ways that seem familiar, but entirely surprising in others. So for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I actually pitched an idea for a level like this. Some of that inspiration was from Judge Dredd. Anyways, I built it. It actually started on the outside. This is just a little... It didn't, it didn't, this was for a DLC. But it started on the outside, and then it would, it would have moved inside. Uh, what the hell? HTCP, what the hell is that? What the? What, what is that? In this world, people... So anyways, uh, I thought it was pretty sweet. Hey, with Eddie's slang for Euro dollars. We make sure to root every detail in the world's lore so everything has its purpose and stays believable. A big part of our RPG experience is having a world that is interactive. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to V, informing her of the nearest vendor she can purchase the product. In this case, it shows us where to find some Nikola soda. They're really nailing the look down. The, the look, feel, the atmosphere, the mood of what you would imagine. Like this, this is Wilson, cyberpunk one of futuristic era. We won't be checking his wares so far, but you can purchase and upgrade your weapons and gear throughout. Obviously, very similar to Blade Runner. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City, a bustling metropolis located on the coast of the free state of North Carolina. Do they go outside of this big ass building? Violence and oppression are the norm. We are working hard. Oh, there it is. Night City fully realized seamless open world with no loading screens. Ooh. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. Very strong, sick. You kidding me? You kidding me? Now three times. Three times, yo. The piece of shit. Now give me back my eddies. Silverhand's debut out, Matt. Now I know could be some truth that I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dang. We've greatly enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city in any open world game to date. The there you go. That's a statement, man. Crowds of people from all facets of life all living their lives within a full day and night cycle. Yes. Uh, so like what I was saying earlier, okay, something that gets me excited. Jack. This gets me excited, man. Okay. Fucking finally. This gets me excited. It's happening. What's up, Jack? You see my building? Where is it? Huh? It's all familiar? Huh? Nobody wants to talk to you. You see my building? Where's it at? Okay. You see that caddy? He 
need to walk on over there and get a... <sighs> Cyberpunk. We're about 10 minutes into the video already and I'm liking it a lot. Okay. I've already got my city, right? If you're playing the game and you come into this building and you try to make it to the rooftop, trust me, I'm kicking you off this rooftop all the way down there, 40 floors, right to the street, right to the pavement, And then I'm going to take off in the dock copter. <laughs> Reality check. It's a job, I know. Hi, I'll meet him. Talk. I'll be a senior rippers. Good news to me. Good luck. It turns out we've caught the attention of one of Night City's biggest players, Dexter Deshaun, a fixer, a person who gets things done. He wants to meet up and discuss a job. Get in. Let's see what he has for us. Let's see. Yo, Miss V, a pleasure. Let's roll. Scanning the serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scare bomb. You interested? Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear it. Before we can start in on this, though, I need to be sure. Sure you all right. All right. And the nature of this test? Is that C.T. Fletcher? His Sorry voice? Show. Is that really him? Sounds just like him. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang, just doing his thing. Jumped a court convoy. Got no. Gear. It's not. Now I need me that little combat body. They call it the flathead. Of course, I got the eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see. It has a little bit of him, but not much. Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the game. It's kind of, it's kind of, kind of. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped, and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? We're on it all, I think. Man, we can have some fun uh, playthroughs on this game. Inkling checks out. So, Jayco, thank you for the ten dollars. Each season, copyright protection stuff. Say the desert to see stream and this. They can block you from viewing it. Beautiful friendship based on heaps of. Chewy, thank you for the five PC load letter. What the heck does that mean? It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He wants us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat gear, a local gang stole from the Militech Megacorp. We'll be able to approach this job from a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. Bot care loaded 10 months, keep tar 18 months, H Bizzle! Thank you for the 10th doc, get with CD Project Red and put together some sort of pre-order thing through you. We'll buy tomorrow, this looks lit. Let's talk. On the horn? No. Uh. Amateur hour, Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dock. Sterling, 13 more men's airy 20 months. Castro, 718, seven months, and Lodi Zerman, two months. Yeah, yeah, you. You see this camera? Yeah. Got a real whack tape. Change your fucking life. Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. 
Life here is not easy. a little out of whack, babe. V! I can release... How'd it play out with Dex? It's all here. All right. I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Vicky, spry as ever, you old Ripper. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dex to Sean. <clears throat> the Dex to Deshaun? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quick, Ryan. Get a grip. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time, I swear. Now sit. Get new cyberware. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Dune Rider, hot whiskey, four months. Gotcha. Manta, 96. Phantom, 23. Tier 2 for four months. Ton, the stun, stone, seven months. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner. Mark 1, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. The link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely... How much do we know how... How much... Uh, like it'll talk to she has. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay. All clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Feel anything? How much do we... Does this person have uh, to purchase? That's what my question was. Play by play. How much credits? I don't know. Like it didn't really show no, it. I think that's like temp UI. Don't be me now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky, gigantic hand. Could slip. I do like... How if that is the Lights UI, though, a minute, all right? I really, really like it. Good. So let's test it. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort. Maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look to you? With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. <sighs> this is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. It might take you a while to adjust, but... First time is rarely the charm with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit. It's good that they're creating a nice little fiction around all that. Because then they can... I don't know what to say. say you'll Possibilities are... Remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two and an Endless. Hour. Right? Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. Go on, kid. Show them what you can do. And once you hit the big time, 
Don't forget where you came from. While some Ripper docks operate legally, others provide black market services. For the right Ooh. price, they can even offer to install illegal military grade cyberware. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly where I'm going. Left a few minutes ago, said he'd wait outside. Well, well, Hiroshi. Well, Vig's got a soft spot for you, Heine. Come on, how about you use them fancy-ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the paint job. Get him off the- get him off the, Is that a Lamborghini? That looks like a 1990 Lamborghini Diablo VT. I've seen one. This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Something tells me that wasn't no coincidence, huh? Jackie's car is a super-powered sports car running on Chew 2, the super fuel of the future. Players can explore Night City freely, in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. Uh oh this does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! Uh it looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Heine. Watch it now. Got it. All right. Yeah, go get him. I think we got rid of him. That was intense. Ah, shit! The fuck was that? Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But who knows? Real messed up in their whole scars. This game pre looks pretty badass, man. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City, but the mega corporations are the real showroom. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area, and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot corporal water. Desperate. Then you think you can use that. See if I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, Let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There, let's take a closer look. Composite armor, car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech, no doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? No loading screens is a big deal too. Yeah, Especially for console. do this. Don't you move. Mock again. Havoc, prime time. Feels Timmy, man, seven months. Ashi, nine. Welcome, Captain Danger. Thank you for the nine months. Cassius, thank you for the five. Have you ever thought of streaming with Black Doc Kitty? Many ma medical leaders ha have used feelings to control their blood. These There's the guys are levels higher than we are. Never heard. Let's try to approach them. Carefully. Max Glaze, thank you for three dollars. Did you get in talks with them for some Doc DLC? Stout. Take it, you were the one to call? Yep. But wanted. Whoa! You're smart. But you can blackmail me, bitch. Set conditions. 
Calm the hell down. What is I've this? I've got you now, asshole. You're insane. Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? The Corpos have hacked us through our personal link and have subjected Come us to a kind of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. Yep, just little old me. She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, folks, we don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the no. consequences could be dire. To do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> you got nothing on me! Nothing! Won't get away with this, you bitch! You're dead! Somebody shut him up. Take me home! Now! I don't know what the hell's going on, but... I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end you. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Cred chip, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This cunt's good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! The agent gave us the money to buy the bot we need from the gang. By choosing to call the Militech agent early, we have now opened up a non-violent path through this quest. Of course, we could try and keep the money, but that would mean we'd have to take the merchandise by force, which requires a lot of firepower. I didn't. Look a little fishy, you know, a little tense. No GSI no Captain shit. Danger nice Ashi feels Timmy good Man Hot Mock Havoc Went Hollywood and, like and your mother's lover 69 welcome back to much. Meet with Maelstrom now. Oh, Hollow Sloth gifting 7. No, gifting 5 subs much appreciated. Hey Doc, you need to pick up some sound dampening foam for your command center. Sounds like you're in a warehouse, man. Jesus Christ. Be nice outdated. Soon. What do you expect? Uh Information, you missed the intro. Again. Knock it off. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. Gotta move the tech, but they can't. Cause your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV is just begging them to try. How you wanna do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate right. for the plan? simple. We pay with the Corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but you're calling this one. For this demo, let's try the more diplomatic approach. Uh, Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. The echoes from the dark walls and alleyways in this psychotic don't domain. Quote of the day from the chat. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. They get damn well prepared. All strapped with Militech gear. Psycho Borg scrummed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Should be the guys we're about to meet are dangerous. They are members of the Maelstrom gang and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world. The what gang? On their path to becoming machines, they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti-personnel mine. Shrapnel spitter. Hmm, my favorite. Kangoon's getting creative with their gear. 
It looks like they made this abandoned All Foods meat factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Seriously? Maybe we should have taken them by surprise. A little late for regrets like that. I love Got us in their sights that. now. Just keep moving. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Remember, we've chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully this will go yeah, fast no, and easy. This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. Violence! Speed! And momentum. What? Momentum. Momentum. Looking to buy a bot. Model MTO D12. Looks like a spider. Couch planted. Yo, Kerr. Peek around the corner, see if we got anything like that. I'll stand. Can't move on your culo. Makes you an easy target. Sit down. That really necessary, hombre? I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Fucking bravo. Come on. Lighten up. Have a whiff. Better. Now we can talk. The box. Need to see it. Open up the box. Open it up right now. State of the art, this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Oh yeah, prove it to me then. Bells and whistles, though. Dynamic camo armor and motor impulse. I've seen it on YouTube for the past eight years, and it hasn't gone anywhere. Used to have wires attached to it. Now it just runs on a treadmill. Literally, watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Me up and let's get the fuck out of here. The buck. I'll take it. Two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? Got 50 large on this creature. And you positively reek of Militech. Positively reek of Militech? Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun, dreads, gold plate, fat old fuck, that him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot and be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k? Creds on this. <laughs> Not the smoothest of deals, but it worked out in the end, right? Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agent contained a virus which off. fried their system. The Royce, their leader, is making a break for it. Well, let's go get him! Before we figure out a way to leave, let's grab the splinter that controls the bottom from one of these dead maelstromers. The inspection system allows us to take a closer look at the splinter. You can inspect specific items to reveal details that can help in solving quests.
Okay, let's equip the splinter to our chipware slot. With this done, the bot will now follow us wherever we go. All right, what else do we have here? Nice! A street-modified tech shotgun. Tech weapons fire rounds that penetrate walls and other types of cover. They also have an alternate fire mode that allows you to power up shots and deal more damage. It looks like there are several ways out of this room. Like those gates, for example. However, you'd have to be a skilled netrunner to hack into this terminal. Luckily, our engineering skills should allow us to disassemble that maintenance panel so we can get through the door. Got it. There this game is crazy, huh? The game that players can apply in solving problems. The engineering skill can be used to fix, disassemble, and disarm devices blocking the Production your line path. passes through here. And we're going to pass through with it. So, from this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. One of the new weapon modules we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. This allows players to bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover. This is another targeting system that will reveal enemies behind walls. Paired with the penetrating rounds of our tech shotgun, it's a deadly combination. Looks like we found some loot. Ooh, this always... is a smart gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the game allowing bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. The toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that. Yes, and hell it. Take it into the system. Jesus Christ! <laughs> my, my legs. Just a reminder: everything you've seen and are about to see including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, all that shit's covered? Okay, let's try something different. We're they going to take it. this guy down nah, and connect directly to his neural side. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, you have access to everything it connects to. Through this Maelstrom gang member, We've now connected to the gang hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. All right, time to show off our new high-level abilities. With quick hacks, Using the back door we unlocked a minute ago, 
will install a virus that jams the connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Looks like he's having a problem now. Nice. Some of you might recognize these mantis blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls, which makes us a very agile, fast solo. We just found a corporate tech rifle. Corpo weapons are top of the line. Let's scan this guy and see what's going on. It looks like Royce is back, and he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier Let's revealed go. a weak spot. Ah! Attacking should bring the shield down. engine they're using. As I'm watching this, I'm trying to figure out what engine they're using. Is it their own? Proprietary? Proprietary? Shields down. Let's finish him off. They build... They made their own? Okay. Let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot, and Dex should be happy. But think back. What would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? Or told Royce about the agent and her plans? Or just decided to buy the bot ourselves? So many options, so many possibilities. And each will have consequences I like that. that will ripple through the game world and your story. And that's just one quest. Let's head out. Just imagine it. Just, just wait until you. Oh, goddamn time. Just to wait until you meet the doctor and his gang at the tippity top of the biggest skyscraper and one of the hardest quests in the game. together more often your chip had the clap that's not discreet you set me up I fucked you over you fucked the gang over somewhere at the start of the story somebody fucked the corp see how this works now only the corp gets what it I kill zone thank you for the three dollars doc you should know you sold about 26 million copies of cyberpunk just by watching the trailer and they should be contacting you via flip phone to see where to send the check yep being a raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me. Hug Life and Jones909, welcome. Okay, let's call Dax and tell him how things went down. My girl the shit eating suits. How's that looking? Hey, Mr. Dax. Get us Doctor, I really hope you're life. serious about that. Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> well done, Mr. B. Well done. <laughs> See you there. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major Leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. But the only thing I want to pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Hoopster, one year. Die going hard and welcome. Brett, thank you for the five. What do you think about Manu Ginobili retiring? You know this city, Jack. Good career. Gun in hand. Come on, Good career. I, I think it's time. Yeah, I think it was time. We finished the job, but our story is just beginning. Doctor Rickles, Show Timer, both prime time. 
This concludes our gameplay demo walk. Thanks for watching. Cyberpunk 2077 coming in the year 2077. Nice game, huh? That's a pretty solid game right there. Boston Ryan, thank you for three hours. Impressive game, man. Between the combination of no low times, the world, the ripple effect of decisions could change, could change everything finally. This Boston Ryan with a three dollar donation. Max Glaze, too much. R Crispy, Flow Short, Cheesehead, Don't Bam, Eat Game, Bravzi, Desvesen, welcome. Uh, I'm very impressed. Especially with that being their own engine and everything, so they built it from the ground up. And they're probably getting their engineer team and designers are like, hey, I wanna do this. And the engineer team's probably like, all right, coding all that stuff, making it happen, boom. Um, man, the scale is super large. Um, a couple questions. How much customization is there for your character? I know it's not a big deal. I'm just wondering. I just, I just want to know, right? Can we customize our character at all? Is, is there any sort of customization in the game at all? I don't know, number one. Um, number two, concern, a concern. Okay, we play that mission, right? We leveled up, we go to the next mission. We do all these kind of cool, like, not necessarily concern, question mark. How diverse can they really be after a while? You know what I mean? Take down the, uh, fight your way out of the building. There's the boss at the end. You know what I mean? Like, in terms of what we've never experienced or seen before, how diversified will these little quests, side quests be? I'm just, I don't want it to be repetitive after a while. And I got a feeling it's not going to be, but it, it's, it's kind of have to think about those things. Um, What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, there's so many questions. So many questions. I guess we just have to continue to wait and wait and wait and wait. Until we get our hands on it, baby. Doc, you can play as a cyber genetic dolphin from um, also, I just got a feeling, is, is there, is there co-op? I, I don't know. Multiplayer, maybe they've already announced it's single player only. I don't know. Couple questions. Um, that that game looks kind of like it would be crazy in VR. I know it's not; they wouldn't do it in VR, but if they're going first person, right? All right, I'd be curious to see if they go VR with it. That might be an interesting VR title. But outside of that, I, I think at this point, it's just we just kind of have to play the waiting game because you know I'm going to be playing it. Dirk, thank you for the five. Doc has to be the quest giver of challenge missions in Cyberpunk, where you have to shoot as many people as quickly as possible in the best and effective fashion, violence, speed, and momentum. Okay. Donnie WB, thank you for the five. Doc, thoughts on Cyberpunk 2007 from a streaming narrative viewership standpoint after seeing gameplay demo? Um, I, I think it's kind of like the same thing as watching someone play Witcher or someone play Skyrim, right? If you're into that, where you want to watch this person 
create a character and go through this whole long narrative and you're into 